Gem City Sports Network presents High School Soccer. Brought to you by Profiler Performance Products. By McAfee Heating and Air. By Profiler Inc. By Don Brown Sports Apparel. By the USO. And by the Dayton Chapter of the Special Wish Foundation. Good evening, everybody, from Lane Stadium in Oakwood, Ohio. It's time for the Soccer Saturday Game of the Week. Today's game features the Chaminade Julianne Eagles and the Oakwood Lumberjacks. The Chaminade Julianne Eagles come into this game with a record of one win and no losses, no ties. They, uh, they defeated Troy Christian at home the other night on Thursday, 3-1. to one. Senior Con Chan scored all three goals en, en route to the win. Junior Jonathan Kane, sophomores Adrian Cal, uh, Colhoun, uh, and Ethan Worst each had one assist. This will be Oakwood's home opener, or season opener, by the way. Senior Colin McDonald will lead the Lumberjacks. He had 15 goals and eight assists a year ago. Oakwood finished 4-2-2 four and t- four, two and two in the Swivel SWBL East Division and 12-6-3 and three overall. The series record since 2012, Oakwood leads the series 9, 7, and 2. They've won the last five matches in a row with one tie coming in 2017. They've met six times in the tournament, with each team winning three matches, Oakwood winning in 2021 2-0. Next up for the Eagles will be a Thursday night match when they host the Northmont Thunderbolts at Roger Glass Stadium at 7 p.m. And then again on Saturday, they will travel to Vandalia to take on the Butler Aviators at 8 p.m. It's a doubleheader with the ladies, just like it was today. For the Oakwood Lumberjacks, they will host the Valley View Spartans on Thursday. And on uh, Saturday, they will host Toledo St. Francis de Sales at 2.30 right here at Lane Stadium. The uh, other games today, other matches today, Waynesville will be uh, is at Beaver Creek. That they, that game is over with. That it was at two o'clock. Bellbrook was at Tippecanoe at two forty-five. Eaton is at uh, Middletown Madison, and they're playing right now. Franklin at Valley View. They're just getting started. Brookville will be at Dixie. McNicholas at Summer Country Day, and Troy is at Carroll. So we are getting set for the second game of our doubleheader. The first game, the the Chaminade Julian Eagles won that one two to one, and uh, this is a good match. It's a great afternoon for, or it's a great evening for soccer, a great evening for anything for that matter, because uh, there's hardly any humidity. There's a nice breeze. It's nice and it's not hot. It's not humid. It's just a great night for for uh, soccer. The head coach of the Shamanah Julian Eagles is Josh Thomas, and Eric Kissinger is the head coach for the Oakwood Lumberjacks. Starting lineup for the uh, Shamanah Julian Eagles, which will be announced here shortly, uh, Thomas Petrovic will be in. Uh, will be starting. I think he's probably the goaltender. He's uh, number zero. Alan Colhoun, Joseph Zimmerman, John Palmer. Con Chan, who had three goals the other night. Andrew Cannon, Alex Rosengarten, Kevin Saunders, Philip Dix, Jonathan Kane, and uh, Egdi Bahati. The, for the Oakwood Lumberjacks, Luke Richley will be in goal. And also starting will be Colin Beck, Braden Bartley, Richard, ha- Richard Hem, Paxton Zed. Uh, Zelik, Colin McDonald, Jack Smallwood, William Benke, Owen Curry, Shata Cato, and William Morris, the head coach, Eric Kissinger. So they're going to announce the starters here in just a minute. We'll have that here on camera. We want to thank you for joining us here on Twitch TV to t- uh, tonight. We are streaming tonight's game, and then we will be streaming a lot this year. Next week, we will be at Beaver Creek as the I think it's Milford. Milford will take on the Beaver Creek girls, and that's going to be a good one because Beaver Creek's always got a very good soccer team for the ladies. 
So they got a soccer, good pro soccer program, period. There's a horn, so we're Number going to go one. to the PA announcer. Number two, Alex Wurst. Number nine, Eniat Anwali. Number 12, Nick Rubenstock. Number 15, Daywan Turner. Number 16, Zach Lurking. Number 17, Shane Campion. Number 18, AJ Yates. Number 20, Ethan Wurst. Number 22, Ephraim Ben. Goringua. Your head coach for CJ is Joe Josh Thomas, assisted by Andrew Roof and Thomas Bernhardt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your Oakland Lumberjacks. Before we do that, we're going to introduce the starters for CJ. Sorry, that was, that was not intended. Your starters for CJ. N number zero, TJ Petrovic. Number three, Adrian Calhoun. Number four, Joey Zimmerman. Number six, John Palmer. Number seven, Tom Chan. Number eight, Andrew Cannon. Number 10, Alex Rosengarten. Number 11, Kevin Saunders. Number 13, Philip Fix. Number 14, Jonathan Kane. And number 23, Ajid Ahati. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for your Oakwood Lumberjacks. Your nine starters for this evening, number two, senior, Colin Wexstein. Number three, senior, Billy Mahaskar. Number seven, senior captain, Gavin Parker. Number 13, junior, Peter Habig. Number 15, senior, Brian Fisher. Number 17, sophomore, Gray Allen. Number 18, junior, Luke Rubin. Number 22, junior, Ian Bellaboy. And number 24, junior, Joseph Hall. Your starters for this evening, number four, senior Colin Beck. Number five, junior Braden Bartley. Number six, freshman Charlie Ham. Number nine, senior Will Binky. Number 11, senior Jack Smallwood. Number 14, junior Owen Curry. Number 19, freshman Shoda Kato. Number 20, junior Will Morris. And your captains for this evening. In the goal, senior Luke. Richard. Number eight, senior Paxton Zilek. And number ten, senior Colin McDonald. Robert Jackson coached by Eric Kissinger, Yusaku Kawhi, and Phil Kurowitz. There are your starters for the Oakwood Lumberjacks. They're in their blue kits with white numbers. The Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a great country and now our national anthem. In order to honor America and in respect for all those who serve our country, if you we ask that you stand and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
our national anthem here at Lane Stadium. We're getting set for the Chaminade Julian Eagles and the Oakwood Lumberjacks. Oakwood's season opener, and CJ has played one game, and they defeated the Troy Christian Eagles 3-1 to one at Roger Glass Stadium. Good crowd on hand here at Lane Stadium. As a matter of fact, we got student section standing up over to the right and over to the left. So I think the I think our uh, uh, CJ Eagles are to our left. Their crowd, their students are standing to our left. The Oakwood students are standing to our right. So you're going to hear a lot of noise tonight. So the Eagles will be going from left to right on your dial in the white kits with green numbers. The Oakwood Lumberjacks in their blue kits with white numbers. 40 minutes on the clock, so sit back and enjoy tonight's game between the Oakwood Lumberjacks and the Chaminade Julian Eagles. And goal Luke Richley for the Lumberjacks. Thomas Petrovic for the for the Eagles. Richley in orange and uh, Petrovic in neon green. So sit back and enjoy tonight's game as Oakwood will get the ball first. They will be going right to left on your screen. Officials are ready. Fans are ready. We're ready. So I hope you're ready for soccer. There's the whistle, and we are underway. And the Oakwood season is underway. The ball coming down to the right side and going out of play. It's going to be a throw-in for Oakwood. Doing the honors will be Patri Paxton Zellick. It's a nice throw-in. Goes down and headed by a defender for CJ, and it's going to go out of bounds. Zellick will inbound it once again. Going for it is Banky. Back to Zellick. Tried to get it to Morris, but went right past him. Here comes shot by the Lumberjacks. The save goes to Petrovic, so the first shot on goal is for Oakwood. Oakwood continues to hold on to the ball. As it scrambled forward across the way. Picked up by McDonald. McDonald will lead this crew. Second goal or second shot for Oakwood. Ball comes down and it's going to go right to Kevin Saunders. Saunders will get it over. Now they kick it down the field. Picked up by CJ. People thought there was a foul there, but no, no foul called. Going up. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for Chaminade Julianne. Eagles get it in. Night falling here in Oakwood. Here comes the Eagles on the fly up the left side. That is Calhoun that has it. As Oakwood clears it, now they get the ball back again. Oakwood does. Now CJ takes it away. Here comes the hottie. Now kicked out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for the for the uh, Lumberjacks. A nice slide tackle by Rich, Richard Helm, a freshman forward for the Eagles. Come they? I take that back. That was John Palmer that did the sl slide. Here comes Cot. Here comes Kane. Kane has the ball taken away by Zelik, and it goes all the way down. And picking it up is Benke, and 
into the corner. It goes and it's out of, out of bounds on the side uh, touch line. CJ will throw it in. Ball headed back by William Morse. It's out of bounds and CJ will throw it in. Doing the honors will be John Palmer. <laughs> Patrick Zellick was holding on to uh, Con Chan. He gets called for the foul, and CJ will get a free kick. Over to the near side. There is a scoreboard from Lane Stadium. Here's a kick. Ball goes down, and... Nice save by the goal keeper. And CJ has it. Over to the far side it goes. Now into the corner. Goes to Jonathan Kane. Kane holding on to it. Now double teamed. Into the corner he goes, gets the bound one, one. Tripped up, no call, taken away, and, and now there's a whistle. That's going to be. A free kick for Oakwood. Ball coming down and going right past. Bahati. That's going to be a throw in as Bahati's going to throw just puts his er, knee out.
shot wide. Goal Here's a replay. Jan's got a leg on him. He's got three goals on Thank you. 
originally had a guy from, or had Chan all over. <laughs> for the Lumberjacks, number three, Grim Haskar. On for Will Becky. CJ, number 18, AJ Yates. And into the game for the Oakland Lumberjacks, number 13, Peter Hebeg, on for Charlie Ham. shot was over the top. Goal kick. Foul on the Eagles. Here's the, here's the replay on it. Just tripped up. coming down and into the 18 takes and fires a shot but Richley was all over him.
Eagles goal by number 14, Jonathan Kane, on the assist from Champ. Into the game for CJ, number nine, Eniat Amare.
corner. Entering the, in, entering the game for the Oakwood Lumberjacks, number six, Charlie Hem, and number nine, Will Benke, on for Smallwood and Baby. Into the game for the Eagles, number 20, Ethan Worst, and number 16, Zach Wolke. Into the game now for the Oakland Lumberjacks. Number 11, Jack Smallwood on for Braden Bartlett.
now entering the game for the Jacks. Jack Smallwood on for Bartley. CJ number 12, Nick Blumenstein. Chan with the save. Chan with the save. 
with the shot. Chan. Three, Adrian Calhoun. Calhoun will be taking the kick. Saunders. 
score. Oakwood 1, CJ 1. Oakwood 1, CJ 1. We'll be right back with more after this timeout. This is the Twitch TV and the Gem City Sports Network. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Karn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. Building the community starts with our children, supporting them and rewarding them for a job well done. It's our responsibility to be dependable today for a brighter tomorrow. So Breathe easy. Choose McAfee. Profiler Inc., your local source for custom graphics, including banners, decals, and custom apparel for your corporate, school, or personal needs. For more information, check us out on the web at www.profilerinc.com or on our Facebook page, Profiler Inc. School would like to say Kettering Health for being our official sports medicine provider. Kettering Health cares for the athlete and you. Whatever your skill level, you can count on supportive care that's personalized to your life and goals. Learn more at KetteringHealth.org slash sportsmed. A reminder that tonight's varsity match is being live streamed by the Gem City Sports Network on their Twitch TV channel. Twitch.tv backslash GCSN Sports is the place to go to watch the match.
back here at Lane Stadium in Oakwood, Ohio. You're taking a good look at the Cox Building. Holds the WHIO TV, the Dayton Daily News, and WHIO Radio. Had a nice uh, the sunset was right in one of those windows, and it was really, really neat. And just on the other side of that, you see Miami Valley Hospital. So recap the scoring here in the first half. Shamanai Julianne got on the board first with um, Jonathan Kane scoring the first goal. And it was uh, 1-0. Chan got the assist. And it's 1-0. That was at 19-12 in the first half. With 6.27 left in the first half. Um, Colin McDonald took a pass from William Mahasker. And he put it past the uh, put it past Petrovic, and we we're, were tied at one apiece. Coming up next week, right here on Twitch, we will have Milford taking on Beaver Creek in girls' action. That'll be Saturday night, 7:15, right here on Twitch, and then on our radio channel, radio1.gemcitysports.com, we will have a battle for the. Uh, Western Ohio Athletic Conference and the Purple Shawnee Arrows hosting the Tri-Village Patriots. Last year, it was, the game was at Tri-Village. The game ended 26-21, and it was a good good game, so hopefully it'll be another good one. Tri-Village was the... Uh, Tri-Village tied with An Ansonia in the, uh, in the league. They were tied for first. Trouble Shawnee was second, a game behind. So, be quiet, girls, you're on TV. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. I, I just said they were on TV, so it's scared me a little bit, you know? But anyway, the girls, so here we go. Uh, just about a minute and a half left here at halftime. The shots on goal in the first half. CJ had 16 to eight for the Lumberjacks. Just a recap of the first half scoring. So the CJ scored first in the 21st minute through number 14, Jonathan Kane on the assist. Jonathan Kane, like I said, makes gets Over the goal. Over the answer to the 34th minute with Connor or Colin McDonald on the assist from Dylan. So, CJ out there already. And here come the Oakwood Lumberjacks. First game today. Reserve game between uh, res the uh, CJ and Oakwood. Lee Turner in goal now for the Eagles. And they'll be going from right to left on your screen. The, uh, in the first game, CJ defeated Oakwood, or uh, CJ and Oakwood tied one apiece. That was the reserve score for the ladies. And then in the nightcap, or in the second game, the Eagles won it two to one. <laughs>
quarter shot, wide, goal kick, Lumberjacks. goes out of play and it's going to be a throw in for Chaminade and Julianne. Chaminade and Julianne co merged back in 1974. Julianne was on Homewood Avenue see, and Chaminade was downtown Dayton. A lot of great people have come out of Chaminade and Julianne. Here come the Eagles up the right side. And going out of play, that's a corner kick for the Eagles, their fourth of the night, first of the half. Just under 35, uh, 36 minutes left here in this first half, or second half. 1-1 one, one is our score. Looks like that'll be Adrian Calhoun booting the ball, it centers it. Nice job by Richley docking it away. And there's going to be a foul going against the Eagles. Richley will boot it away. Just on the outside of the 18. Ball coming over to the near side and it goes way out of bounds. It's headed for Beck. Now belongs to the Eagles as a throw in. Throw the ball in. Here comes Zimmerman. Zimmerman controlling the ball. And now he gets it over to Ro Rosengarden. Rosengarden tried to get it to somebody, but it went right past him. Picked up by CJ once again. Now Oakwood steals it, but CJ gets it back again. Here come the Eagles. Nice save. A handball. It's going to belong to the Lumberjacks. Doing the kicking will be Owen Curry. And I take that back. It'll be Luke Richley. Nice deep downfield. And it's headed back towards him. Controlled now by the Eagles. And oh, my. Well, the Eagles went flying right by the, the Lumberjack. There's a shot and a nice save by Richley. Here's the replay. 
It'll be a corner kick. Nice save. Shot number 17 for the Eagles. Adrian Calhoun will boot it, gets it nice into the pit, into the 18, and goes out of play. It's going to be a goal, goal kick for the be a goal kick for Oakwood. As Eric Kissinger threw a ball all the way down to Richley. As he's actually going down to get the ball. Ball coming down as coming together was uh, Smallwood and Rosengarden. Ball goes out of play and it's going to belong to the Eagles. Rosengarden gets it over to Chan. Chan tries to get by Beck, can't do so. Now he sends it up to pitch. Going after it is Hem. Hem can't catch up to it. Now it's going to be knocked out of bounds belong to, belonging to the Lumberjacks. Beck gets it in. Now taken away by CJ. Now Smallwood for the Lumberjacks. Gets it over to a defenseman. Now they send it in. And nice say, nice pickup by Turner. Shot by Oakwood. Their ninth. 32-18 left here in the second half. We're tied at one apiece. Jonathan Kane gets the goal for CJ at 19-12, marking the first quarter or first half. Con Chan got the assist, one nothing uh, CJ, and then about three minutes later, or uh, about 13 minutes later, Colin McDonald put the ball in the net. William Masker, Mahasker makes the assist, and we're tied at one apiece. Here come the Eagles up on the left side. They'll send it over to Kane. Kane, the goal scorer. Kane. Nice little footwork. Sent it down into to Zimmerman. Zimmerman left side being hounded there by Curry. And it goes out of play. It's going to be a corner kick for CJ. Corner kick number six. And in the corner it goes. I can't see who's going to can't see the number. He boots it and into the middle of the 18. Nice job by Richley. Pushes it away. And here come the Eagles once again. They're on the attack. Ball knocked away by Kane or by Khan. Picked up by the Eagles. They get it up top here. They get it over to uh, Saunders. Now on the right side, here comes Kane. The shot. Ball taken away by Bartley, but Oakwood controls. This is a rivalry, as you can possibly te probably tell. Beck gets it up to the near side, gets it over to uh, Bartley. Bartley sends it in. Another shot for Oakwood. Two apiece here in the second half. 18 to 10 total. Just over 30 minutes to go here in this second half. High boot coming down. Ball bounces at midfield, picked up by Oakwood. Next week it'll be girls action as Milford will come up from Cincinnati area to take on the Battle of Beavers of Beaver Creek. 7.15 will be kickoff time will be on the air about 7, 7 p.m. Here's Kane. Kane left side. Centers it to Chan. Chan fires a shot. No good. It's knocked away. It was blocked. No shot. Now here comes C.J. Has it. C.J. Philip Dix sends it down. Gets it to Kane. Kane up the left side. Kane goes around. Curry. Curry takes it away from him. Now they send it up to Bartley. Bartley sends it over to the far side. And here's a shot, and it is high and nice. Set. Ooh. One of the Eagles goes flying into the net. Let's 
first uh, shot here by CJ. Here's that play. Here's that. Watch this. Uh, watch this kid from CJ. They're flying up in the air, and he it comes down on his back as he goes over uh, Richley. Ball goes all the way down into the 18, down towards the CJ goalkeeper. Here comes the ball taken away, and a foul going against CJ. That's going against. Here's a replay on it. Alex Rodengarden getting the foul. So a foul going against Rosengarden. It's going to be a free kick for the Eagles or for the Lumberjacks. Doing the honors will be Colin McDonald. He's a scorer, the goal scorer for the Lumberjacks. He can reach from here. It's a nice shot and nice save. Oh, well, the ball almost went into the net off the hands of Turner. He dropped it and picked it up just in time. Turner sends it down the pitch, picked up by the Lumberjacks. McDonald being hounded here by two Eagles. The Eagles take it away. They just send it up to Chan, but Chan too far for him, and it goes out of over the touch line. It's going to belong to the Eagles or to the, uh, the Lumberjacks. William Mahasker back into the game for the Lumberjacks. Sitting down will be William Morris. Ball coming in, picked up by the Eagles. They control. Ball goes over to the right side. Knocked away. Into the corner goes. Khan or Chan sends it out. Gets it over to Calhoun. Calhoun centers it. Gets it down into by Zimmerman. Ball taken away by the Lumberjacks. There's a ball coming all the way down and going after it was Dix and sends it out of play. So throw in for the Eagles or for the Lumberjacks over on the far side. There's a shot, not, not even close to the goal. That's going to be a corner kick for Oakwood. That's just their second on the night. McDonald will do the honors on the far side. There's a kick, and it's headed out, back out, now back in. Ball taken by Oakwood. Bartley controlling it. Bartley being hounded by Zimmerman. Zimmerman takes it. Now it's up the right side, hounded by Beck. Zimmerman up, fires a shot, and hits the top of the net. Goes over the goal, over the crossbar. Here's the... Here it is. Shot just goes right over the crossbar. That's 20 shots on goal tonight for the Eagles. Or 20 shots, I should say, not on goal. Ball coming down, take head to the back by Zimmerman. Smallwood sends it down. Here come the here comes the Lumberjacks and a shot just wide to the left. So goal kick for the Eagles. Sending it down is Turner. Picked up by the Lumberjacks. Let's head back into the defense side of things. And they'll boot it back into the offensive zone. Here come the Lumberjacks. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for, or a corner kick for the Lumberjacks. McDonald will boot it again for the Lumberjacks. With 24 minutes left here in this second half, coming back in is 
William Morris back into the match for the Lumberjacks. Sitting down will be Braden Bartley. McDonald on the far side, boots it into the middle of the 18. Ball knocked away by Turner. Here comes the Lumberjacks. They'll track the ball down. Goes over to the far side to McDonald. Into the corner it goes. Goes over to uh, Finky. Back out of play and it's going to stay with Oakwood. They're going to throw it in. Just over 23 minutes left here in the second half. We tied at one apiece. There is no tiebreakers. No overtime. No penalty kicks. When that 46 minutes runs out in the second half, that's it. Ball goes out of play. It's going to be a goal kick for the Eagles. Just under 23 minutes to go here in the second half. 1-1 one, one our score. Jonathan Kane got the goal with 9-12 remaining in the first half. Ron, uh, Con Chan got the assist. Oakwood sends it back down. Picked up by the goalkeeper in Turner. Petrovic started. Lee Turner picked up here in the second half. Nice boot coming down. Turner's got a good foot on him. Here's it. They head it back towards the middle of the field. Picked up by CJ. Over to the right side. Tried to get it to Khan and can't do so. Ball knocked up. CJ. Over to the far side it goes. Zimmerman centers it. Headed back out by Beck. And here's a shot just over the goal crossbar by CJ. That's going to be a goal kick for the for the Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks will be back in action on Thursday when they host the Valley View Spartans. And then they will host Toledo St. Francis to Sales at 2.30 on Saturday right here at Lane Stadium. The ladies, they will, um, they will take on Vandalia Butler next Saturday, or the Chaminade Juliana. And Oakwood will have two matches, one against Monroe here on Tuesday, and then on Thursday they travel to take on Valley View. Here's Chan. Chan Holt will take it. Chan knocks one of the Lumberjacks down, and no call. Here's Kane. Kane doing fancy work and a whistle and a foul against the Eagles. Here's the... Here's the replay on it. Kane. Kane, the foul will be on Kane. Kicking the ball will be, or I take that back, it'll be against Oakwood. Ball's kicked in by Palmer into the 18. And Ch Con Chan tried to control it, picked up by the Lumberjacks. Ball taken off the foot. Or Beck, it looks like. Kane on the far side. Kane's going to. Oh, no, that's not Kane. Ball comes out. Here's a shot just to the left of the goal. Here's the replay on it. Says it was deflected wide. Just under 20 minutes to go here in the second half. We're tied at one apiece. It'll be a goal kick for the Eagles. There's a kick, and it goes behind the goal. So it'll be a goal kick for Oakwood. And coming back into the game is Bar Braden Bartley. And a couple of, uh, she's got number 18. 
That's A.J. Yates coming in for C.J. I can't, I didn't see who the other one was. So Richley sends it down. Ball gets past everybody. C.J. And now on the far side is saving it was C.J. As Oakley was trying to go get it too. Ball knocked away. Here comes Oakwood. Now CJ gets it back again. Now Oakwood. Ball goes out of play. It's going to be a throw in for Oakwood. Throwing it in with B. Zellick. Haven't called his name in a while. Ball coming in. Near the student section. I'm sure the uh, CJ fans will be doing the same thing. Here's Chan. Chan into the 18. Centers it. And right to Richley. Here's the replay on that. Chan sent it right past the Oakwood defender. Right to Richley. And uh, Richley's got it now. He's got to boot it away. Nice high boot coming down above the lights. Ball battle picked up by CJ. And a foul going with Oakwood. This is a rivalry between these two schools. Of course, they're not that far apart. And it's great that they play every year. CJ at the GCL. And Oakwood out of the Southwestern Buckeye League. Ball knocked away, picked up by Oakwood. They send it over to the far side to McDonald. McDonald loses it, and it goes out of play. McDonald will throw it in in a hurry with 16.48 remaining here in the second half. We're tied at one apiece. Last night we were at Northridge and saw a bunch of uh, truckers going up and down the highway, 75. We look out across the field, all we see is trees. Turner boots it down the field. Taking it up is Beck. Beck on the right side, fires it down, and into the seats it goes. That thing took off like a shot. Curry will send it in. Picked up by the Eagles, or by the uh, Lumberjacks. Now here comes the Eagles as Zimmerman and Oakwood is called for the foul. Just under 16 minutes to go. Referee says, now nah, you're a little too far to the north. you got to go back a little bit. And the short kicks it over towards the defenseman. Now they get it back again in Palmer. Palmer sent, tried to send it up, and it's knocked away by Oakwood. It's going to be another throw in for the Eagles. Palmer will inbound it. Coming back into the game is Ethan Worth. As you can hear, the battle of the students. Oakwood and Khan, Chan, centering it, and still picked up by the Lumberjacks on the move. Was number nine in Banky. He lost it, picked up back by the Eagles. Goes into the corner, and it's going to be a corner kick for the for the Eagles. Their seventh of the game. One one is our score, with 14:28 to go here in the second half. Eagle fans coming alive. It's a kick and coming into the 18. It headed towards the goal, but it's blocked. It comes the Lumberjacks. They send it down the pitch. Picked up by the, it was uh, Andrew Cannon that knocked it out of play. 
That goes off of, off of Oakwood. Now CJ will have it. I think it's going to get a little louder as the game goes on. Here comes Con Chan. Chan up the left side, into the 18. Si centers it. Ball knocked away by Oakwood. Here comes, here comes Bartley. Sends it down. Picked up by McDonald. McDonald loses it off his foot. Ball goes to Kane. Kane the left side. Kane tries to center. Does so. Gets it to Chan. Chan trying a little fancy footwork in the 18. Now they send it over to the right side and kicking it out of play is Oakwood's uh, number 19 in Shota Kato. Ball brought in, and now Oakwood has it. That was uh, Banky trying to get out of the corner. Now he's can't do so. It's a uh, it'd be a throw in. Coming back into the game is Smallwood and also Charlie Hem. Just under 12 and a half to go here in this second half. The title one apiece. Both goals coming in the first half. We'll let the Oakwood cheerily, uh, we'll, we'll let the Oakwood do it. <laughs> Student section here. Now CJ's going to be picking it up here in a minute. The ball knocked out of play by Beck. Huh? Throwing it in will be Andrew Cannon. He gets it in and Beck knocks it back out of, out of play. Cannon will throw it back in. Tries to get it into Chan. It's taken away. Here Kane. Kane up. Getting, trying to get into the 18. Now he's a little footwork. Picked up by Beck now for the Lumberjacks. He's bumping and bagging. They get it over to Habig. And it tripped up on the play. And now we're going to have a yellow card going against the uh, going against number 20, William Morris, or no, Ethan Morris. Here's the replay on it. Here comes. Yep, right there is number 20. Gets tripped up, but then he started taunting him. Stood over him. So one car goes to uh, number 20 of CJ. 11.09 to go here in this second half. Kicking it away would be Paxton Zellick, senior defender. As you can hear the Oakwood, uh, Oakwood student section. Ball into the, knocked away by CJ and it goes out of bounds. It's gonna belong to the Lumberjacks. Beck will inbound it for Oakwood. Ball comes in, headed back to the north side. Picked up by Zimmerman. And kicked out of bounds by Oakwood. Two, two subs coming in for CJ. Number three in uh, Calhoun. And also number 11 in Kevin Saunders. So in comes in. CJ has it. Picked up now by Rosengarten. Rosengarten sends it down. Goes right to Richley. Richley snags it. Con Chan was right there, too. Here comes Oakwood. Goes out of bounds. It's going to belong to the Lumberjacks. Just under 10 minutes left in this one. We're tied at one apiece. 
Getting ready to come back in is uh, William Benke for the Lumberjacks. And now the Eagle fans are getting wild up. Now the Oakwood cheerleaders, Oakwood fans <laughs> saying, we can't hear you. This is a fun rivalry. We'll have to do this again next year. Next year, it'll be down at, uh, down at Ro uh, Roger Glass Stadium. Thank you back in. Coming down, coming back out will be Peter Habig. Ball goes over to the far side, picked up by CJ. They'll send it back into their defense. And now they'll get it down. The picked up now by Oakwood. We go back and forth. And a foul going against CJ. Here's the foul. <laughs> Kids just having fun. That's that's uh, that's high school for you, you know. Here's a kick into the right to Turner. That is shot number 12 for the Lumberjacks. Highly unofficial, of course. CJ has it. Ball knocked away. Ball was knocked away by Morris, and Oakwood will inbound it. Here come the Eagles. Ball knocked away, picked up by the Eagles. They'll send it up to Chan. Chan on the fly, up the left side. Chan. Into the 18 and back out again. Sends it over to Zimmerman. Zimmerman over to the right side and a whistle and a time is called and we're gonna have another yellow card going against Oakwood. And that's gonna go against number 11, Smallwood. Here's that penalty. I don't even know what he did. So a yellow card goes against Smallwood for Oakwood. So 7.20 left here in the second half. Kicking it will be Philip Dix for the Eagles. We'll let the Eagle fans let you know what happened. Oakwood building a wall right in the middle there. And he has to try and go around it. Richley in goal. There's a shot, goes right into the wall. It's blocked by Oakwood. Comes right back out. Picked up by CJ. Here come the Eagles. Sends it over to the far side. Knocked away by Oakwood. Picked up by CJ once again. Ball comes in the middle. There's a shot. Ball goes way up in the air. Now it's headed by Oakwood. Now picked up by CJ. Ball's going to go out of play over the end, over the touchline. It's going to belong to the Eagles. Got a player coming in for the Eagles. Coming into the game is Kane. Throwing it in will be. John Palmer for the Eagles. Send it in. Ball back. Headed out. Here's ball knocked out of bounds by Beck, and it's going to belong to the. No, I take that back. It went off of uh, CJ. It's going to be Oakwood ball. Or it's going to be a goal kick for the Eagles, or for the uh, Lumberjacks. Just over six minutes to go here in this one. We are tied at one. Richley will boot it away. Nice boot coming down. Takes a couple of hops, goes into the offensive zone for CJ uh, for Oakwood. Oakwood controls now. CJ on defense, knocks it away. Picked up by the Eagles. 
Send it over to the far side to Kane. Kane up the right side. Kane. Over. There's a shot just over the goalpost. Or over the uh, crossbar. There's a replay on it. Just over the cross. Just over the crossbar. What a rival. Love it. Here come, the, here come the Lumberjacks. Just over five minutes left. CJ sends it back down. Kane is going to be called for the foul. Oakwood will get a free kick. Doing the honors looks like it will be Paxton Zellick. Hello? Zellick will do it. Everybody heading back into the offensive zone for the Lumberjacks. Ball coming down and taken away by CJ. And they send it up to pitch, taken away. Here comes the nice slide tackle by Owen Curry. And we have a injured eagle. He was a recipient of that slide tag or slide tackle. And that is Alex Rosengar Rosengarten. 4-12 left. And they're going to have the... Well, he's up on his feet already. Trainers haven't had to do anything here in the, se the second game. They haven't been out on the field at all. Somebody's not happy. Somebody is not happy right below us. So the official is going to be coming all the way back. And Eagles have it. Eagles 1-0 on the year. Here's Khan. Khan in the middle of the field. Still has it. Dribbling. Sends it over to the far side. There's a shot. Nice save by Richley. There's a save. Here's the replay. Richley right there has it. He had a couple of Eagles bearing down on him. 335 left in this one. Nice boot coming down. Eagles sending it back that way. Here come the Eagles up on the far side. Picked up by Calhoun. Now the Eagles have it. Both the an eagle and lumberjack went after it. I think they butted heads, but they're both okay. Here come the lumberjacks on the fly, sending it down. Is Banky. Oakwood controlling it again. Here comes Beck, sends it down. On the fly, come the eagle, uh, come the lum lumberjacks. No penalty call, no foul call there. Here come the eagles up the left side. Picking it up. There's Rosengarten. Out of bounds off of Beck. Rosengarten will inbound it. Gets it to Khan. To Khan Con loses it out of play. And it's going to belong to the Lumberjacks. The whistle. What do we have? We're going to move it back. Time called. Time called with 2.11 to go. That is the CJ fan. Oakwood's not doing too much. At least not yet. Clock running. Ball headed up. McDonald has the ball taken off his foot. Here come the Eagles. Ball headed back. Beck. Or, uh, have a whistle and a foul going against CJ. And we have a time called and a yellow. We got something going on. A yellow card 
going against an Eagle and a Lumberjack. The Eagle is going to be, huh? Looks like it's going against Joseph Zimmerman. So Zimmerman's gonna sit down with 147 left in this one. I don't, I didn't see who got the card for Oakwood. But Oakwood will kick it away. One forty-seven left. Now the official's going over to midfield. Looks like he's going over to talk to Josh Thomas of CJ. One forty-seven left. Both goals coming in the first half. Jonathan Kane scored at nineteen twelve left in the first half. And a pass from Con Chan. And Colin McDonald took a pass from William Hasker, from Hasker at 627 and scored the goal. That's where we are, one apiece. There's a whistle. Kicking it away will be Zellick. Ball back, headed, heads it into the 18. CJ knocks it out, now knocks it down towards midfield and it goes out of play and it's going to belong to the it's going to belong to Oakwood coming into the game will be Banky sitting down will be Peter Habeg clock running with 116 left we're tied at one apiece now the Eagle fans are saying they can't hear it. Oakwood ball goes down CJ now has it on the defensive side of the thing. One minute left here in this game. CJ sends it down. That had a backspin on it big time. Picked up by now Oakwood. Battle for it. CJ heads it back down there towards their goal. Here comes the Eagles up the left side, or up the right side. Kane holding on to it. Kane loses it. Loses it to uh, Bradley, or Bartley. Throw in Eagles. 24 seconds left. There's a shot. Set. Blocked by the uh, by Oakwood defense. Here comes the Eagles' Andrew Cannon. Ball's going out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Your final score, Chaminade Julian won and Oakwood won and a wild one. <laughs> Chaminade Julian is going to go 1-0 and 1. The Oakwood Lumberjacks are going to go 0-0 and 1. They team will be playing again this week. So the final score, 1-1. Here's the recap. Jonathan Kane for CJ scored his first goal of the year. On a pass from Khan and Chan at 19-12, it's one nil, CJ. And then at 13 minutes later, or just under 13 minutes later, Colin McDonald scored from William Mahasker at the 627 mark, and that's the final score at one to one. So that's gonna do it for us. We want to thank you for tuning in here at Twitch. And your final score as the players congratulate each other for a great game. Your final score, Oakwood 1, CJ 1. This has been a presentation of the Gem City Sports Network, your source for local sports in the Miami Valley. Gem City Sports Network. We'll talk to you Friday from Pebble Shawnee and Saturday from Beaver Creek. Good night, everyone.